Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Mark, author, speaker, endoscopic spine specialist. Today I'd like to talk about the use of spinal pain mapping to really help discriminate a difficult diagnosis. Here's the patient, and maybe this sounds something like you. This person came from quite a ways away, was in their low 40s, and had a very athletic background. However, this person was also disabled from playing any sports or really any significant recreational activities for the past two years because of significant upper or thoracal lumbar, upper lumbar or thoracal lumbar kind of back pain. Uh, he'd been told by local orthopedic surgeons, neurosurgeons, and uh, some, a handful of other physicians that his main problem was facet syndrome. So he had local pain, and when I got to, and he had a CT scan demonstrating some degenerative changes of his facets. So it did appear that way when he described it, you know, when I talked to him on the phone. However, when he came here to the office, the majority of his pain was directly over the spinous processes. So that presented a different problem and he actually had been told the other diagnosis for so long that he was a little bit skeptical about the whole thing. At this point, I wanted to show you where his pain was when I was pushing on his back and where he thought it was coming from. So this gentleman had pain that was really deep and in the midline with very sensitive tips of the spinous processes. So this is where he really felt the most pain. He did have pain that also extended over to the sides, which suggested facet pain, but the majority was over two of the spinous processes. In order to help define this problem for him, I suggested spinal pain mapping. And in this procedure, with some sedation, the tips of the painful spinous processes are injected with a little amount of lidocaine. And then he's allowed to wake up and move into positions what would normally cause him pain. After doing this, he had 80% relief of his pain. And uh, the, he had some residual pain left on the left-hand side, so I injected the facet joint and that got him up to about 90% relief, which is very significant. So we have two different problems. One, spinous process syndrome, which is probably just the uh, uh, ligaments, uh, tendons, pulling off of the bone itself, and probably unable to reattach itself due to a poor blood supply, with some sensitive and irritating nerves that come up the side of the spinous process, that are just constantly being stimulated by this tendon that's pulled itself off these tips. Um, he also had the uh, arthritic uh, facet joints, which I injected uh, as well to determine the cause of his pain. The surgery was essentially one of removing, take a small incision, removing a small part of the tip to see if some blood supply could get reestablished and then to uh, uh, laser the soft tissues around the edge to destroy any sensory nerves. Uh, this actually resulted in pretty significant, immediate significant relief of his pain. He's not really far out enough to know exactly how much he's going to get with the future, but he certainly had uh, his major pain, other than incision, was almost immediate for him, and he was very hopeful of returning to his recreational activities. Well, thanks a lot for listening today. I hope you enjoyed this problem that I faced in the office trying to discriminate back pain not from a disc but rather from a combination of spinous process and facets in the thoracal lumbar spine. Got any further questions please give the office a call or take a look at my website. Thank you for listening.